Hello, my brothers and sisters. Grab your Bibles and turn to Matthew chapter 9. We're going to read verses 9 through 13. Let's pray together and we'll get started. Lord, we love you. We thank you so much for this word. Please use it to make us better disciples and disciple makers. Make us more the men and women and boys and girls that you want us to be. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we have said so many times, these are not so much sermons as they are just kind of setting the table so that you can dig into the Word by the guidance of His Holy Spirit with some people that you love. Today is going to be so rich. So many of you are involved in the discipleship training that's going on right now. And even if you're not involved in that training, we hope and pray that you're doing our daily readings. It's so crucial to who we are as a body that we're all every day learning from God's Word and putting it into practice. And so if you're doing the daily readings, you know that today's passage comes from today's reading in Matthew chapter 9. If you don't have those readings already and aren't a part of it, please go to everydaydisciples.life and you will find real easy a place to click to get those daily readings and read at least the New Testament. And you can be right on board with stuff like this every single day. And today what we read about is when Jesus, he had been in his own hometown and, and he had healed someone there. And then it says, as he was going on from there, he saw a, a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he said. And Matthew got up and followed him. And while he was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said, it's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, for I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Oh, this is going to be so rich. You are going to learn so much. If you are just learning to be his disciple, you're going to learn so much about about your Lord Jesus and about his heart and about how to follow him. And if you are making disciples, you're going to learn so much about making disciples from this passage. You're going to learn so much about God and you're going to learn about us as human beings by noticing what the Pharisees said and did, what Matthew did, um, what his disciples did. You're going you're gonna to learn so much about God and about us, about our relationship with him and our relationships with others. But remember, when you get to the end of it all, what matters is putting it into practice. It's not just hearing, but it's doing whatever it is that he is telling you to start doing that you aren't yet doing, or maybe stop doing that, that you are now doing, or maybe continue doing. It might just be an, an encouragement for him to say, you're on the right track, keep going. But whatever it is, let's make that humble and yet confident, faith-filled commitment. By God's grace, I will. Can't do it on my own, but by God's grace, I'll do what he's teaching me to do through Matthew chapter 9, verses 9 through 13. God bless you.